This is the model of a kit adaptable to every diesel and gasoline engines present nowadays. The proportions and single measurements of each of the elements making up this kit adapt to the shape of the engine and its room. Size of the kit is proportional to the engine it's made for, either a motorbike, car or truck. The kit is built just to get a perfect performance with own homemade fuel. Nevertheless, it can also work with any other kind of petrol derivative but with a remarkably inferior performance. Pay special attention because we are going to show you how the kit works. These are the fuel tanks. They come from a larger tank placed in the back of the vehicle. At the next production of the coal external combustion engine, the tank will share the front part. As the size of the Alba engine is smaller in volume than common engines. The tanks dose the fuel loads, injecting them inside the explosion chamber. At the same time, it takes air from outside at atmospheric pressure. The chambers inside is spherical. It's made up of different materials which prevent it from overexpansion, soundproof it, and it houses a thin cooling system. When the sphere starts, it is found the ignition reactor, powered by an external battery of 6, 12, or 24 volts, according to the vehicle. Fuel, at contact with air and generating the electric spark, explodes creating a pressure between 5 and 300 bars, depending on the kit, which is driven towards the storage tank through a filter. The rest of gases and solids resulting from explosion are expelled through the gas escape filter. The storage tank confines the pressure coming from the explosion chamber. From here, a constant amount of air pressure is moved on to the pressure controller, between 25 and 300 bars, depending on the vehicle. An electronic device activates and regulates the pressure regulator valves, supplying with the right pressure to each of the cylinder injection pipes. This pressure varies between 5 and 10 bars in motorbikes, 12 and 25 bars in cars, and between 60 and 70 bars in trucks. The pressure day supply is made in a way that the engine's natural working cycle remains unaltered, as in the auto cycle. The temperature inside the explosion chamber ranges from 60 to 90 degrees. Pressure air that comes to the storage tank ranges from 30 to 60 degrees. Once in the injectors, the temperature reaches 30 degrees. The block's average temperature will be 45 degrees, due mostly to friction. As a consequence, the engine's performance rises between 70 and 80 percent, due to its low temperatures, and its service life increases around 50 percent.